NX comes with cogeneration functionality out of the box and the main goal is to make your life easier when it comes to working in a monorepo. That is things like setting up a new project, adding new projects into an existing monorepo, generating new libraries, but also augmenting existing projects with new functionality, for instance, adding Tailwind support, adding Storybook support, or creating a Playwright or just Cypress end-to-end -end test setup. And a lot of companies also leverage these cogeneration features to have a consistent and opinionated setup that works for their team and follows their best practices and coding style guides. Code generators are situated within the NX plugins because usually every NX plugin package is responsible for a very specific technology. And so in order to see which plugins you have installed, you can run MPX NX list and I will list out all the plugins that are installed as well as all that are available. Now, if you go to the NX docs, there is a plugin section where you can explore all of the available plugins that are provided either by the NX team or even further down from the community. Now, in order to install a plugin, let's say we want to install the NX React plugin, we can go ahead and run npx nx at nx react. And so once we have that installed, we can run nx list at nx react to explore what generators this specific React plugin here provides. Now we could generate a new application leveraging this application generator. And to invoke generators, you run nx generate or just g at nx react colon application. Let's call this my react app. And as a directory where we want to generate this, let's call this apps my React app. And this will now ask a couple more questions and then generate the setup for us. And so with a couple of keystrokes, we are able to generate a new Vite-based React application that we can also immediately run by using npx nx surf my React app. And that will now use Vite underneath to surf our application in with the dev server. Now, if you want a more visual UI, especially initially to explore what generators are available and their capabilities, the best is to install NX console, which provides a visual UI to these generators. And so we can click this generate menu and it will list us all the generators that are available in our workspace based on installed plugins. And so we can go ahead, for instance, to generate a new React library. And you can see here, we get a UI with a form where it can fill out the various properties that we need to provide. My lib, and we don't want to need, we don't want a bundler right now. We want this under packages, my lib. Now we can dry run this. So we will see what would potentially get generated if we run it. And so this just simulates the updates to our file system. And once you're ready, we can click generate or copy the command here for further use. And so with that, we get here a packages folder and the setup for a React library that we can now start developing and importing into our application. These generators are not just useful for scaffolding new projects, but also for augmenting existing ones with new functionality. And so here, for instance, we can add storybook support to our library. Now I'm leveraging here again, the NX console feature of having here that contextual menu where I can then search for storybook and use that storybook configuration generator. And opening this up, it has already my product pre-selected. Again, I can run generate. And so this will now give me a storybook setup generated into my library. And so if I open here up my lib, I can now see there's a storybook config that got generated with the storybook setup that parse your stories and get this up and running. In addition, if I go to product JSON and open up here the view of my tasks, I now see that there's a built storybook that got inferred by the storybook plugin. And so I can build my storybook, run my storybook in development mode and use it for creating my library components. And so while these plugin generators are really powerful, you can actually create your own that live within the same monorepo. Definitely go look up our docs for more information about that, as it is a very powerful tool to automate your processes that match your organizational needs.